Welcome, fellow Kiss fans. Welcome to It's All For You Demon. Celebrating the fun of being a Kiss fan, and nothing is more fun when you're a little kid than playing with dolls. Yes, calling these dolls, because that is what Migo referred to these as. Dolls. They're not action figures. These are dolls, and I have never spoken of PB wants to eat Gene Simmons. I have never spoken of the Mego dolls to this day. Doing vlogs about Kiss and the fun of being a Kiss fan, I have never spoken about the Mego dolls. Fi <laughs> Fixing all of that today because we are talking the 1978 Mego dolls. Alright, going to keep this very short and sweet because there's nothing about the 1978 Mego dolls that I'm going to speak about here that you don't already know. So here we go. <laughs> Pee Wee, you're gonna be my backdrop. The first doll that ever came into my collection was the Paul Stanley doll. I do believe, whoa, whoa, whoa. I do believe um, Paul had a silver collar around his neck which mine does not mine has a little blemish on his nose but this was my first Mego kiss figure ever and one I still cherish very much to this day these are pieces of merchandise that you especially me coming into the collecting game very late 1988 these are things you don't really think you'll ever run across so, adding a doll or a figure to my collection was a pretty big event, and Paul was my first. Next up in my collection was Gene. Um, Gene, I actually remember seeing back then, probably about 1981, 82, my friend, actually it would have been 82, that was when my friend Brett moved to our neighborhood and in 1982, he and I scratched the makeup off of Gene's face, off of his Gene doll that he purchased at Half Price Store. And if you imagine Half Price Store, 1982, these would have definitely been on clearance and just trying to get rid of stock. But this is my uh, second doll I added to my collection. Good old Gene. The third doll I added to my collection was Peter Chris on the drums. Peter was semi hard to find. I always find it more difficult to find. It seems like you always find a lot of Gene and Paul's for sale. Peter and Ace are harder to come by. I know they're out there, but kind of harder to come by. Peter, of course, is missing his armbands, but. I don't care. Nonetheless, I enjoyed adding him to my collection as well and almost completing the set. So the third one in my collection was Peter Chris. And of course, that would mean that Ace Freely on lead guitar was my final addition to the set. Ace Freely is actually my favorite doll of the four. I love his sparkling pants. I absolutely love it. I've always loved the Love Gun outfit anyway, and uh, it was very cool to add this to my collection. I love his pants, man. His pants are so freaking cool. So much fun, look at that. Those sparkling pants. Ace Freely doll added, and all four of the 1978 Migos were in my collection. And now for the fun stuff. When I actually got all four dolls in my collection, I actually refilmed shot for shot the Mego commercial from 1978. I will put a link to that at the end of this video. That was a lot of fun. It took me a couple hours and uh, it was a lot of fun. I did it shot for shot and even used the original song from the commercial. So that was a lot of fun. Second fact that's fun, of course, is 
Mego actually referred to these as dolls. There's a big debate upon, they're called action figures, they're not dolls. Dolls are what your sister had. If you played with these in 1978, you were playing with dolls. Like it or leave it. Love them or leave them. Next interesting fact, of course, is Paul's head is Daryl Frank Dragon from Captain and Tennille, the captain. Mego reused the captain's head from the Captain and Tennille figure for Paul's head. That lovely mug right there is actually the captain of Captain and Tennille. And being a complete nerd, I'm going to have to add Captain of Captain and Tennille to my collection just for that connection. Next up, interesting fact is Mego reused Lex Luthor's head from the Super Friends line for Peter Chris's noggin. So Peter Chris is actually Lex Luthor. And again, being a complete nerd, I'm going to have to add Lex Luthor, Mego, to my collection. The fun never ends. And I remember when Gene and Paul were on Howard Stern show in like 1993, they did a piece on the dolls and uh, Howard Stern did a big thing about feeling the buttocks of Peter Chris and how he had a ni nice buttocks. And there's a funny little bit where Paul's talking to Howard Stern and he keeps feeling Peter Chris's bottom. So if you ever want to look that up, have a good laugh. Howard Stern, 1993, Gene and Paul as guest. Now, if you have ever seen any of my previous videos on the Mego 8-inch figures, you do know I am collecting these, and they have recently announced that the second wave, or I don't even know what wave it is, but soon to come in 2019 will be the Ace and Peter doll. Of course, they are called the Catman and Spaceman. Not a huge fan of that, but whatever. Peter and Ace will be joining this lineup soon. And I haven't really got a look at those Peter and Ace, Catman and Spaceman dolls. I don't know if they actually look like Eric or Tommy or Peter or Ace, but nonetheless, it's gonna be fun. There's a lot of people out there who throw a lot of dirt to people who buy these. You know, they say it's junk, no one buys Kiss stuff anymore, you're just feeding the mad cow, blah, 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 blah. But to me, I didn't get to enjoy the fun of buying these in 1978. I did enjoy the fun of taking off Gene Simmons' makeup in 1982, but I never got to actually buy these in stores in 1978. So in 2019, 2018, I do get to enjoy the fun of buying a Mego action figure, an actual full-on Mego endorsed action figure. Thanks to these, I get to relive some of that 70s glory. And relive some of that 70s glory I finally got to do today because something just arrived in the mail. And that is this. An actual 1978 Kiss Mego doll in the box. Now the box is beat to hell. Again, I don't collect for value, I don't collect for resale, but I've never actually owned a 1978 Mego Kiss doll in the box. Um, the tab is open, of course, ripped off the top, but it came at a very nicely discounted price because the box was not in perfect condition, which I could really, I really don't care. I love the fact that all of the instruments are accounted for. I can't even imagine the difficulty of putting together this drum. That I think would be a nightmare and I would want to murder my parents having them try to assist me doing that. But I love, absolutely love this box. This box is, man, it doesn't get any more fun than this and I love seeing this box sit on my shelf with the Gene Simmons doll inside. Got the original price tag, $4.99. I love the side. It just has that 
Saturday morning, like, I don't know, cereal box, ice cream, fun, cartoon feel to it. I absolutely love the packaging of these. Now, Mego did re-release the 12 inch figures again, but now of course they say Demon, Spaceman, Catman, Starchild, much like they do on the 8 inch. But again, take it or leave it. I enjoy all these figures. Ace has fallen over in a stupor. I enjoy all these figures. They are simply fun and now I'm going to have to uh Ace you're just gonna have to go back there. Now I'm gonna have to try to find the remaining three in the box again. It's just so much fun to see on my shelf and you know to experience the fun kids had in 1978 getting these toys. When I pulled this out of the box I was smiling like a 12 year old kid. Much like 12 year old kids smiled when they got these. So I'm happy and I'm going to complete my collection of these when the Spaceman and the Catman come out. Whatever. Hopefully they look like Peter and Ace. I don't know. That would be a more Mego enthusiast who would be able to tell you that. I'm just a Kiss collector collecting for fun and Fawn arrived in the mailbox today. So there you have a super quick, fun little vlog on the Mego dolls from 1978. I have had them in my collection for a long time and ever since I've been doing vlogs, I have never talked about the Mego dolls. Figured, why not today when the Gene in the box arrived. Still my favorite of the bunch. Ace Freely. Gotta love those sparkling pants. So much fun. Thank you for hanging with me today. If you are new here, hit subscribe. If you enjoy waxing nostalgia about the fun of being a KISS fan, like, share, comment below. Leave a comment below. Did you own the KISS Mego figures in 1978? And if so, how long did they last? And were you like Brett Parker and myself? <laughs> and decided to scrape the makeup off of Jean. I was in the second grade, 1982, Mrs. Fielding's class. Brett was in the fourth grade, Mrs. McLaughlin's class, and we really gave Gene Simmons hell in his bedroom. We wanted to see what he looked, looked like without that makeup on. Took an old butter knife right to his face. What can you say? Stupid things you do when you're little? If I could go back and smack the second grade me, I would. Thank you for hanging with me. Take care, be safe, be good to your babies. I will talk to you soon. And we'll have an unboxing when uh, the Catman and Spaceman 8 inch Migos roll out. Take care my friends. See look at those two. They get along. And maybe shame on me, but I've never ever noticed and this is probably because I've never had a Kiss Mego doll box in my house before. But I've never noticed that in this photo, Paul took off one of his armbands. Hmm. I've honestly, to this day, never ever noticed that. File this under things I never knew.